Hi, this is David Harper of Bionic Turtle, and I wanted to talk about a really important idea in derivatives, and that is basis risk, which I consider to be the mother of all risks for derivatives, simply because basis risk attaches to all derivatives, sometimes in sneaky and unexpected ways. To illustrate, I'm going to continue to use the example with copper futures. So let's imagine we are a company that needs to purchase copper on an ongoing basis in order to create our inventory. So maybe we are a computer maker that needs to purchase copper in order to make equipment. And so here I artificially generated some numbers. They're inflated from current prices just to keep the example simple. But so let's say it's today sometime in May 2008 and the spot price of copper is four dollars per pound meaning we can purchase copper today on the cash market at four dollars per pound again it's a little higher than it currently is also there's a futures market for copper and let's imagine that we could enter into a futures contract at a predetermined price to purchase copper for three dollars and eighty cents remember what that means I'm just gonna use a one year forward period so Let's assume the futures contact refers to one year forward, $3.80. If we enter into a long hedge, because we have two sides to this transaction, we can be on the long side, that would be a contractual agreement for us to purchase copper at $3.80 per pound, but not today, in the future. So it's a promise we're going to buy that copper in the future, but we decide the price today. So let's say the futures price is $3.80. The basis is simply the difference between the spot and the futures. In the case of copper or a physical commodity like copper, it's simply spot price, in this case $4 minus futures price, $3.80 is a difference of 20 cents. That's our basis. You can see I've got this visually here as well. Green circle for spot, blue circle for futures price. The difference or gap is the basis. In this case the futures price is lower than the spot so this market is in what we would call backwardation. And by the way if it were a fi financial commodity we would say probably say futures minus the spot just the other way around to get the basis but it's still the gap. Okay, so as the computer maker, let's imagine we make a forecast and we predict, per the diagram here, that spot prices will go down. This is our forecast. Spot prices are going to drop by 20 cents per pound. And the futures price is also going to drop, but maybe by only 10 cents. That's just our forecast. However, we're not so sure about that, so we want to lock in our cost, and so we are going to hedge with a futures contract and we're going to hedge by going long the futures contract or taking a long position in the futures contract. And so let's imagine first that the scenario we predicted here does in fact happen in the future. And you'll notice this scenario anticipates that the basis goes from 20 cents to 10 cents the basis declines we call this a weakening of the basis but that's part of our forecast okay so if we go forward now in time we're gonna still need to purchase the copper and the spot price of the copper is going to be three dollars and eighty cents we also entered into a futures position a long futures position and notice in this scenario, this predicted scenario, the futures price did decline by 10 cents. So there's a loss of 10 cent per pound on the futures contract for a total cost to us of $3.90 per pound. So that's including the hedge. We happen to lose on the futures part of that hedge. Well, that didn't work out too well. Why did we do it? Let me just move this to the side here. We did it because that was just our prediction. And really, the hedge was protection against a price increase in the spot market. So let's now imagine that instead of dropping to $3.80, the spot price increases to $4.20. So now, the spot goes from 4 to 420 in green and let's imagine that our prediction was accurate in terms of the basis anyway that the futures price goes from up from 380 up to 410 
So what does this scenario have in common from our prediction scenario? The key thing that it has in common is that we were right about the basis. We predicted a weakening of the basis from 20 cents to 10 cents. As long as our prediction about the basis is correct, we're going to end up in the same place. And notice how that works out. Here, we go forward one year on the spot market, purchase that copper now at the higher price of $4.20. Did we lose? No, we didn't lose because now our hedge works in our favor. Our futures contract creates a profit for us. See how the 380 goes to 410. We have a 30 cent per pound profit on the futures contract. This is exactly why it's a hedge. Our futures creates a profit for us, a cost of 420, netting out a profit on the futures, notice, brings us right back to the same $3.90. So as long as the basis weakens, just as we predicted, it doesn't matter where the spot and futures move. We're going to end up with a total cost, cash market netted by our futures hedge of $3.90, as long as we're right about the basis. And so this is would be a perfect hedge into this scenario. Now let's just imagine that there is an unexpected strengthening in the basis. So I can simulate that by assuming the spot price goes up to $4.30 instead of $4.20. Now notice what happens to my basis. My basis goes from $0.20 cents to $0.20. Cents. So really, on an absolute basis, so to speak, my basis is unchanged. But that's not the point. The point is that I predicted, I entered into a hedge anticipating a weakening of the basis. Instead, it stayed the same. What I really had here was an unexpected strengthening of the basis. And notice, I lose here because now my spot price for copper is $4.30. I still gain on the futures, but not enough to affect a perfect hedge. My total cost now goes from three ninety to four dollars. And so hopefully you can see how the really key factor here is whether the basis strengthens or weakens relative to my expectations when I enter into the hedge. It could go either way for me. I showed you here the example of the unexpected basis strengthening, but it could be an unexpected basis weakening, in which case the spot price could go up by 10 cents, but the futures price goes up even more, in which case my basis goes from 20 to cents to zero. That's an unexpected basis weakening. Remember, I anticipated a 10 cent weakening. I got a 20 cent weakening. Now my spot's going to cost me $4.10. I'm still going to profit 30 cents on the futures. And my total cost this time is going to be only $3.80 as opposed to the $3.90 that I was trying to lock in. This time, there was an unexpected weakening in the basis, which just happened to work in my favor. You can see it can go either way. And it depends on whether I'm a long hedge or a short hedge. This whole example has been a long hedge. So hopefully you see here the main idea that this whole idea of hedging has to do, the whole idea of basis risk in hedging has to do with the fact that we've got an underlying asset. We're hedging it here with the futures contract. But to the extent that there's imperfect correlation between the two and that it's unanticipated by us, we have and are exposed to basis risk. I hope this was helpful. This is David Harper, The Bionic Turtle. Thanks for your time.